Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Nishita Yadav and for today's video, we're going to learn chapter motion. This is the fourth part of this chapter. If you have not watched the other three parts, then the link is down in the description. You can go and watch those parts first. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So in the last part, we have already covered distance, displacement and how to find that something has moved 50 kilometers and what time is that object moved 50 kilometers. So now we are going to learn about average speed. Average speed, what is it? By this word speed, you will be thinking of a car which is going really fast. But speed is not only that. Speed is the rate at which something moves or travels and by this, we mean even if something is going slowly. It's not only the fast motion, but slow, fast and any rate at which the object moves. So you'll be wondering that why does the title not consist of only speed? Why did it said average speed? And what is this meaning of this average with speed? So as we know that nothing is exact in science and we cannot find any value that how much was the speed of that car so we always use average before any term either it is speed or any other terms that we are gonna study so here our question which will be gonna come is how to measure average speed of any object so if you want to measure speed then it will be total distance covered by that object upon the total time taken by that object to cover that distance. So say any object goes 50 km and the time for that object to cover this 50 km is 10 hours. So to find the average speed, we do 50 upon 10 as 50 is the distance and 10 is the time. And the formula was total distance upon total time. So 50 upon 10 will be 5 km per hour. So does this 5 km per hour mean that the car is covering 5 km every hour? No, because maybe sometimes the car is going fast and sometimes slow. That is why we used average speed, not just speed. So after this concept of average speed, let's see that what is uniform motion. So uniform, now this one. If you see that what is uniform, in the form of physics, then it would be the distance covered by an object in equal intervals of time. Example, if any object is going on the uniform speed of 5 meter per second, then the distance covered will be. So for finding this, we need to multiply the speed at which the object was moving, that is 5, and the time to cover that 5 meter, that is 60, as 1 minute is consists of 60 second. So 15 to 60 is nothing but 3000 meter per second. That will be the answer. And this average speed and uniform speed is different as in average speed, the speed may vary, but in uniform speed, the speed is constant. And when it's average speed, like busy crowded areas, traffic lights, non-constructed roads, these all are example of non-uniform motion. As if we are driving in any traffic, we sometimes move quickly and sometimes our speed slows down. So non-uniform motion is something in which the distance covered by an object are in unequal distance in unequal interval of time. So the first question is that if an object moves with constant speed, then the motion of the object is said to be uniform. So it is a true false question. So this is true as we know that uniform motion is nothing but any object traveling in an equal intervals of time, it is said to be an uniform motion. And the statement is just as it is, just it is little bit moved from here to there. So this is true. So the next question we have is that a body is said to be in uniform motion if it covers unequal distance and equal interval of time. So same, we know that what is uniform motion, our base is cleared, so it is false. So guys, that was it for today's video. So in this video, we have covered average, speed, uniform motion, non-uniform motion and solved two of the questions which was really, really, really basic as that was just true and false. Those were not numericals. So yeah, I hope that you liked the video, enjoyed the video. And if you do, then press that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, because we are going to come with more parts of this chapter soon. So yeah, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.